Oh no! I got deleted! How am I supposed to finish the video now? Oof. Oh, great! <laughs> I, I had the option to restore myself. Well, looks like I won't be needing this one anymore. Hi, and welcome to Discovering Dataflix. Today, we're going to delete stuff. Or actually, not. Well, we're going to look at ways to delete stuff in uh, Dataflix. And the thing is, when a customer comes to me and say, I want to be able to delete this data, I, I cringe a little bit inside. And um, it's like this jar of um, lollipops. If I want to be able to delete the uh, lollipops, I can just pick one out and throw it away. But what if I want to delete the jar, but I might want to keep the lollipops? Well, that's a problem that you run into in, uh, in developing applications because you might have a, an order detail, for instance, and uh, usually you don't want to delete the order without deleting the rows in the order. But there could be other situations where you want to keep the items. For instance, in our application where we have the um, items and locations, for um, you might want to delete a location because you don't have it anymore. You might have thrown a wardrobe out or something, but you want to keep the stuff. Uh, but right now you don't have another place to put it. So you might want to have a script that says move all this stuff to another place before we delete. But you could also say that these should be orphans. You could allow orphans. And that means that the items are more or less just on the floor. Uh, so it would mean that before deleting the jar, I would just take all the lollipops and put them on the table. And then I can throw away the jar and I can find another placeholder for the lollipops at some later date. Then we have the thing with deleting stuff entirely. I really don't like to do that. I, I would rather kind of flag an item as deleted. So it might be that I want to delete the jar. So I mark it as deleted, but I want to keep the lollipops in the jar as long as these lollipops have not been eaten. And uh, we're going to look at ways to do that as well. So let's dive into the code and uh, have a look at some of uh, these tricks in uh, Dataflex, what you can do. Yes. And we have this view with the item and the location. And you can look at the location like the jar and the item as the lollipop. And uh, what we want to do now is uh, to delete the jar and see what happens to the item in the default mode of the Dataflex. So we go into the location, we find the jar, and we delete it. And it says that we cannot delete the file uh, item or the location because it demands an item. And what this means is that in our location view, it knows based on the data dictionary class that we have a client called item. And that means that our view that is using the location data dictionary says that I'm not going to delete this because we need to check the client class and we do not have access to it in this view. So we need to add that to this view for this to work. And the way we do that is we click down here on the little plus icon, we add the item, and voila, now we have the item data dictionary in here as well. And we run this again to see what the default behavior is. We go back here and delete and number seven, and it's gone. I can go here and I will only find number six, I could go into the database 
and refresh this and we see that the seven is gone there's only test six left here and um, if we go to the item i'm going to look for item one and i don't see it either because it has also been deleted so i want to add this uh, this item one again pick a category and then set it to test six now i want to prevent this from being deleted and we can do that uh, by going into the location data dictionary and do a set the scade lead states to false so now it should not do a cascade delete and let's see if uh, that's the case we go in here we find the last location where we put the item we delete it and now it says that it, this cannot be deleted because related records exist so what if it doesn't exist any related records let's pick number uh, test two here because we don't have anything on that delete and that was deleted so now we are not able to find test two but we cannot delete test six because it has related records all right but now we want to be able to delete the location but keep the item so how do we go about doing that we want to start by setting this one to true which is the default value but i'm just going to keep it in the code for reference and i want to show you a small other thing because you can actually set the scade delete allowed and point it to the location file number to false and what this will do is that it will check if the location is trying to delete the item then it will not allow it but for instance if you were in the default location and tried to delete it which is also a parent of this uh, item it would actually allow the deletion of the item so this can be a uh, really nice tool to decide where and who and what may delete the item um so just just to check how that works if we go into the item now the location we find six and we press delete and um, now we cannot delete because a record exists so fine again we want this to be true so how do we delete the location without deleting the item well you can do a set uh, parent null allowed and reference it to the location and set that to true but that is not all you have to do you also have to say that you're allowed to do a cascade delete that creates this null because otherwise this one will only allow you to save or create an item with a null reference but if you also want to be able to delete you need to set the cascade delete null of the location file number to true so you can be very specific on who is allowed to delete who is allowed to uh, update and so on so what happens now when we run this is uh, that we go into the location we find six we delete it and now it's gone because we only have five we go into the item view we look for the item one which is still here and you see the location has been deleted 
So we have the item, but the location is gone. So now we pick a new location. We pick location five, we save this. And in this case, what we wanna do is we want to delete the location, but we wanna keep it so that we can show it in this view, but we don't want anyone to be able to select it in this list, for instance. And it should not appear in the list of locations and it should not be appearing here in the location list. We want to be able to delete five and say that we don't want this to be available anywhere apart from showing that this one still belongs to five. It could be that we haven't moved this, but we have canceled the location, but we still want to keep it. So let's see what we have to do in order to get this to work. In here, um, we want to set a procedure, delete main file. And normally you would do a forward send delete main file. But in this case, we don't want to delete the file. So we want to avoid this um, behavior. So we prevent it by not calling the default uh, delete main file. And in the uh, database builder, I have created this is, is deleted. And if that is zero, which is the default one, it's not deleted. If it's set to one, then it is deleted. So what I wanna do instead here is I want to move one to the location dot is deleted. And then I wanna do a save record location. And also notice that I'm working on the global buffer here because I'm inside the data dictionary. And I cannot be inside the data dictionary in these kind of procedures without the data dictionary, the data dictionary knowing what data is in the global buffer. So when you're in here, the, you, you can almost always expect that the database is locked and you know which data you're working on. So that's kind of a, a way to think about it. Um, and um, with this, uh, we also want to make sure that we do not set this one referencing the uh, delete, the, the location to zero. So we want to do a similar um, procedure, save main file. And again, we want to prevent the default behavior of save main file. Let's see, save. By creating an empty procedure here. And look at five. Now we delete this one and it's deleted, but I can still look it up again. And if I go to the item, I can find item one and it has the five and I can look up the five. So nothing's changed. How are we going to do this? Well, at least we know uh, that the five is deleted and uh, we can do a constraint. So in uh, this location data dictionary, in the object, we do a procedure on constrain, and we constrain a location dot is deleted should be equals to zero. That means that we only show items that has the value zero in our location view. So location, and now we don't see the five, but we can still find it 
by clicking here. But if we do, then we get this error message that says cannot re refine record because the location is prevented from being shown in this view. But we want it to be prevented from being shown in the entire application. And the way you do that is that you move these. We also want to delete main file because we want this to be a global uh, feature of the application. So if we delete the location in any place in the application, we want this behavior. So we go to the data dictionary class and we move these in here instead. So now this behavior is global. So when we run, you can see we go to the location, we still don't see five. We go to the item view and we try to look up item one, but it's gone. And that is one of the feature of constraints. We cannot actually find it. So if we go here, we pick item two, we try to get back and forth here. We cannot see item one. So this constraint here also works on the item. So it's propagating down to the item. So we need to make a procedure on constraint that is empty here. And that would actually allow this view to present the item, but we also want to do this in the item web lookup on the location, like that. So if we now run this, we could do a lookup and now we have the item one, it says five here, open, it says five here. But if we go in here and try to find the five, we cannot pick it because the default feature is that the test five is not visible. So we cannot pick it, but if we are here, it can still show it. And that's really nice uh, feature to have. I hope that was useful and um, that you like this video and um, until next time, I think I'm going to have a lollipop. See you then. Bye-bye.